So the, the difference between app chains and shared rollups regarding the thread model is quite simple. On shared rollups, we have two possibility of malicious agents. You have users that can send malicious data, and you have applications that can send malicious code. For application-specific rollups, the application and the chain are the same thing. So the only possibility of attack comes from the malicious users, in which can only send malicious code. And this is a very important distinction. Uh, just summarizing it real, real quick, <laughs> on shared chains, you have adversarial metering. So the granularity is per OP code. So you're charging money per OP code, which is a very small granularity. That's a big overhead, as you can see on the slides. The threat is data and code. So that means that it's quite hard to estimate uh, the, the OP code cost, and also that the worst case is much worse than the average case. So you can see there, the worst case and the average case, there's a big difference there, and you, your block size has to be small. For, oh, also, uh, the re reference computer is quite idle, even when the blocks are full, in average, because you have to go with the worst case when your average case is much better. On app chains, you can actually charge gas per interactions, so attack a goblin, uh, gather some loot. And the interactions, they actually con contain millions of instructions. So the overhead is much smaller, because you don't have to calculate the gas cost every single OP code. The threat model is much easier to deal with, because you can only have malicious data and not malicious code. So the worst case is much closer to the average case, which in turn means that we have a much better block size and therefore even more scalability.